Welcome back to First Movable Guitar Chords. This book focuses on eight movable chord shapes. Now, the sooner you can find your notes on strings five and six, the easier these chord shapes are gonna be. So on page 10, we have three exercises that'll help you find your root notes faster. You can watch all these videos for free, but it's gonna be a lot easier to learn with your own copy of First Movable Guitar Chords that you can read from and write in. Plus, you can help support a music teacher, so I'll leave a link in the description. The best way to learn the movable chords in this book is to simply play them as often as possible. One way you can do that is to play songs you already know, but play them with movable chords even when you could play them with open chords. Now, half the battle for learning these chords is learning the shapes. The other half is learning where to place those shapes, and that means learning the notes on the fifth and sixth strings. So here at the bottom of page 10, we have three exercises for finding your root notes a little faster. Exercise number one, we're going to say and play these notes. The string number is listed above and the note is listed below. So you're gonna find your C on string six. There's your C. Your F on five. B flat on six. E flat on string five. A flat on string six. D flat on string five. F sharp also on string five. That's gonna be at the ninth fret. Your B on string six. E on string five. A on string six. D on string five. G on string six. And C on string five. to exercise two, and it's gonna be very important for all these exercises to say and play those notes. That's gonna help you get them in your brain and under your fingers. Now we have C on string five, G on string six, D on string five, A on six, E on string five, B on string six, F sharp on string five, D flat on string six, A flat also on string six, E flat on five, B flat on six, F on string five, and C on string six. last exercise, and again, very important to say and play these notes. We have A on string six and A on string five. B on string six, B on string five, C on string five, C on string six, D on six, D again on five, E on five, E again on six, F on five, F on six, G on six, and G on five. Your assignment is to practice the note finding exercises at the bottom of page 10 and make sure you start using movable chords with songs you already know, even when you could play them with open chords. And don't forget to order your own copy of First Movable Guitar Chords. I'll leave a link in the description. Memorizing these notes is an ongoing process, so go ahead and move right on to page 11. We're gonna start looking at movable minor chords. 